hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. And I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> And Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at Mrs. Witch's house. The Witch Competition. Thank you for helping tidy my house, Nanny Plum. No problem, Mrs. Witch. My goodness, what a lot of cobwebs. Let's magic them away. Oh, me! I don't know what I'd do without you, Nanny. But, Mrs Witch, why can't you just use your own magic to tidy your house? The thing is, I don't do much magic these days. I'm retired. Meow. Still got your mangy old cat, I see. Don't be rude about Moggy. I say cat, but it's just a bag of fleas, really. Leave him alone. I'm warning you. And he's smelly. <laughs> <gasps> Mrs Witch, you've turned Nanny to stone So you can do magic Only if I'm cross Nanny was being very rude about my cat Can you turn Nanny back? If she says sorry Sorry And say mm. sorry to Moggy Sorry, Moggy <laughs> Oof, I forgot she's so touchy about her cat Hello, are you Mrs Witch? That's me. I'm Wendy Witch. Hello, Wendy Witch. I'm so excited to be standing here with you. You're famous. Am I? I was brought up on stories of you doing the fastest spells in the West. That was all a long time ago. I'm retired now. And what a lovely witchy house. I can't believe I'll be living here. Uh, what was that? I'll be living in your house. But there's only room in this house for one witch. Yes. Now you're retired, you'll be going to the old witch's home. You'll be very happy there. It's full of other old witches watching telly all day. Uh, you know, when I said I was retired, I meant I'm not retired. Goodbye. <laughs> that was close. Um, sorry to bother you again, but since there's only room for one witch around here, we'll have a witch competition. The winner stays, the loser goes. Oh, yes, of course. A witch competition needs a judge. Someone important. Uh, my daddy is a king. Is that important enough? A king will do nicely. Let's go and meet this daddy of yours. Hello, Your Majesty. Ah! I'm Wendy Witch. Oh, hello, Wendy Witch. We're having a witch competition and we need someone important and wise to be the judge. That'll be me. I'm very important and wise. If Mrs Witch loses, she'll have to leave her house. Daddy, you have to make sure Mrs Witch wins. I'm sorry, Holly, but I'm the judge and I have to be fair and above board. I suppose there's a first time for everything. When does the competition start? At high noon. I haven't got a chance against Wendy Witch. I haven't been in a witch competition for years. What happens in a witch competition? There's a spell contest, broomstick riding and jam making. Well, your jam smells quite nice. See, I've lost my touch. Which jam is supposed to be horrible? Don't worry, we'll help you make it horrible. <laughs> what if you put in some snail slime? Snail slime? Yes, that could do it. And some worm poo? Yes, that would make it taste awful. You see, you can win. Now let's tackle the broomstick riding. I haven't ridden my broom in years. It's forgotten all its training. <laughs> here, boy. Good broom. Oh, come here, you silly old stick. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's 
try spells. Mrs. Witch, you did the fastest spells in the West. Right, Mrs. Witch. Turn these cans into frogs. <coughs> I'm trying, but I can't do it. I'm afraid she's past it. Past it? She can't even turn a can into a frog. She might have been good at magic once, but now she's a bit of a has-been. Has-been? I'll show you. <laughs> <gasps> Mrs. Witch, you turned Nanny into a frog. That's because Nanny got me annoyed. <laughs> Oof! If you can do magic like that in the competition, you'll be fine. So just remember to get cross with Wendy Witch. But she's so friendly and nice. It's your only chance to win. OK, I'll try to be cross. It's high noon. Let the witch competition begin. First, jam making. Why are they all staring at me? You're the judge, darling. They're waiting for you to taste the witch's jam. Oh, what's in it? Slug, mostly, with a hint of bat and spider eggs for crunch. Ew! That's the most disgusting thing I've ever ever tasted. Thank you. No, my jam, Your Majesty. Yes. Um, why should I have all the fun? Isn't it someone else's go? Daddy, you're the judge, so you must taste both jams. Of course I must. Lucky me. Oh, they both taste equally revolting. So, the jam making is a draw. Hooray! And now, Broomstick flying! Yeehaw! That was really good! Ooh. Now it's Mrs. Witch's turn! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Right! She's held on! Yeehaw! She's riding the broom brilliantly! The broomstick riding a draw. Now for the spell contest. Mrs. Witch, where are you going? To the old witch's home. I can't win a spell contest. Yes, you can. You turned Nanny to stone. And you turned her into a frog. Well, Nanny Plum makes me so cross. Just remember to be cross with Wendy Witch. But she's so polite and charming. She wants to put you in the old witch's home. And live in your house. You're right. Remember I'm cross. Remember I'm cross. Let the spells begin. The witch that turns the other to stone is the winner. Remember I'm cross. Remember, I'm cross. Mrs. Witch, it's been such a thrill to be in a competition with you. Remember, I'm... Oh, thank you, dear. You're so nice. <gasps> She's turned Mrs. Witch to stone. That's it. I've won. I'll be the Little Kingdom's witch. I'll really enjoy working with you, King Thistle. Uh, working with me? Oh, yes. I've got big plans for the Little Kingdom. Oh, dear. She sounds like a bit of a bossy boots. Meow. And Mrs Witch's mangy old cat will have to go. Did you see Mrs Witch move? She can't move. She's been turned to stone. He really is a flea-bitten old thing. He smells awful. I'm really cross. You leave my moggy alone. Wow, Mrs. Witch turned the other witch to stone. So, I suppose Mrs. Witch is the winner. Yay! We knew you could do it. Uh, shouldn't you turn Wendy Witch back now? She was very rude about my Moggy. But if she says sorry... Sorry. And sorry to Moggy. Sorry, Moggy. <sighs> 
Thanks. You're just amazing, Mrs Witch. I've never seen anyone break out of a stone spell before. And you're a very polite and clever young witch, mostly. Well, as they say, this town ain't big enough for the both of us. So I'll be moving along. Bye! I'm glad Mrs Witch won. The little kingdom wouldn't be the same without Mrs Witch. Yes. Mind you, Wendy Witch did have a point about the cat. It does rather smell and it's... What was that? It, uh, is a most lovely pussycat. Thank you, King Thistle. I do love my Moggy. Meow. <laughs> <laughs>